Let's take a tour of the retail analysis sample. This industry sample dashboard and underlining reports analyze retail sales data of items sold across multiple stores and districts. The metrics compare this year's performance to last year's in these areas. Sales, units, gross margin, and variance, as well as new store analysis. This is real data from Aviance that has been anonymized. Let's start by clicking on the total stores tile on the dashboard. This takes us to the store sales overview page on the report. You can see that we have 104 total stores, 10 of them new. We have two change, Fashions Direct and Lindsay's. We can see that Fashions Direct stores are larger on average. Now I'm going to click on the Fashions Direct section of the pie chart. When I do this, I can see that the bubbles on the scatter chart update to only show data for Fashions Direct. This lets me see that FD01 district has the highest average sales per square foot, and the FD02 has the lowest variance in sales compared to last year. The FD03 and FD04 districts are the worst performers overall. Let's investigate FD03 to see what's going on there. I can do this by double clicking on the FD03 bubble. This drills down to the store level in this chart. Notice that not all stores performed poorly in that district. Store 23 has a great average sales per square foot and also best variance to last year. But Store 22 is the opposite, with a low average, big negative variance, and low volume based on size. By clicking on the bubble for Store 22, we can see in the map that this store is located in Ohio. By clicking around within this report page, we'll find other insights as well. Now that I've done some investigations, I can click on the Power BI icon in the top right of the page to return to the dashboard. Now that I'm back on the dashboard, I'll click on the title that has this year's sales. This will pull up Q&A with the question that created this chart already populated in the question box. Now we can get more specific with it by adding by district to the end of the question. Observe the results. It automatically puts the answer in a nice chart for me. Now I'll change the question to this year's sales by zip and chain. I can see how as I type in the question, it shows the data with the appropriate chart. We try our best to give you the best chart based off the data that you are currently displaying. Now I could continue to play around with more questions and see what kind of results I get, but I'll head back to the dashboard now. Now let's explore on a more detailed level, looking at each district's performance. On the dashboard, I'll click on the tile that compares this year's sales to last year's as a line chart. This will take me to a report on the district monthly sales. I can see on the column chart that there is a large variability on variance percentage to last year, with January, April, and July being particularly bad months. Let's see if we can narrow down where the issues might be. I'll click on the bubble chart selecting 20s men's and I'll notice that the men's category wasn't as severely affected in April as the business overall. I can also see in the pie chart that it contributes a much bigger share of sales for Lindsay's as it does in Fashions Direct. Now I'll click on the 10s women's bubble. I can see that the women's category performed much worse than business overall across all the months. It also contributes a much bigger share of sales for Fashions Direct as Lindsay's. Now I'll select the bubble again to clear the highlight. Now let's look at how our specific districts are doing. I'll click on the first image for the district manager on the top left. I see that Allen's districts outperformed last year in March and June. Now while I leave Allen still selected, I'll click on the women's bubble. I see that for the women's category, his district has never met last year's volume. This is likely related to why the women's category performed so much worse in the last several months. Now I head back to the dashboard. The last area I want to explore is our growth, so new stores opened this year. 
I'll click on the tile for stores open this year, and this will take me to a report page with new store analysis. I can see on the top right chart that we have opened more Fashions Direct stores this year than Lindsay stores. In the column chart with the sales per square foot by store name, I can see that there's quite a bit of difference in the average sales per square foot across the new stores. To make it easier to analyze, I'll sort this chart. I can do this by right clicking on the chart and in the sort UI that pops up, I can change the sort by to be by sales per square foot. I can also change the sort direction and in this case I'll change it to be descending. Now I'll click on the Fastens Direct legend item in the top right chart. I can see that even for the same chain, the best store, which was Winchester Fashions Direct, significantly outperforms the worst store, which was Cincinnati 2 Fashions Direct. In the line chart at the bottom, I'll click on Winchester Fashions Direct in the legend. The first sales numbers were reported in February, and since then it has been a leading store in terms of volume for almost every month. Now I'll click on Cincinnati 2 Fashions Direct in the line chart. And I see that it was opened in June, and it seems to be the worst performing store. I have now finished our tour of the retail analysis sample. I hope this has provided you education on the various functionality of the dashboard Q&A and reports, as well as inspiration for you to connect and explore your own data and discover the insights awaiting.